Hey guys, so this week's video is a little bit different to normal because, well, I guess it's like a story time video in a way because I'm basically gonna have to tell you the story for the context of the painting and I think it is quite a funny story to tell anyway. And personally, I think I am someone who has been quite unlucky when it's come to relationships and it kind of feels like my luck is finally f turning around. So I'm basically gonna tell you the story today of how I met my boyfriend and the context behind why I made this painting was because it was his birthday on Monday, he turned 20, he's a year older than me and yeah I thought I could do something really nice and personalised and uh, related to us as a couple. So I will now begin the story and it is probably one of the weirdest things that's happened in my life but also one of the best things and I think it is quite a funny story. So, basically, this was about three months ago now, I was kind of sleeping over at my best friend's room every night at uni. I don't know why we were, we were basically having like a sleepover every night. And randomly at 4 a.m. she gets a message from a guy on our course who she was friends with, but I wasn't friends with, so I didn't know him at the time. And he sends her loads of pictures of Pelican of pelicans at 4am and you know how you can like add like reactions on Facebook Messenger like you can thumb something down or sad react it or angry react it she just angry reacted it and she, she was like so done she she just turned to me and she was like I do not want him to send me pelican pictures at 4am so she was like I don't want your pelican pictures and then he replied but it's 4am pelicans and this is something about this whole situation was just very funny to me i just found it really funny that he would just message her at 4am with loads of random pelican pictures so i then took it upon myself to send him a message even though i'd never spoken to him i'd seen him around because he's like on my the same course as me but i didn't really know him so this is when i messaged him and it's very out of character for me to message someone I don't really know I would never normally do it but this day I just had such a I just really wanted to for some reason like I had such a desire to message this person so I sent him a message saying I want to see pelican pictures at 4am and he was like yay a fellow 4am pelican friend so I'll put some pictures of the chat up on the screen and show you the conversation that we had but it was like the weirdest way of becoming friends with someone I'd ever experienced so after that after we'd sent each other well exchanged a couple pelican pictures at 4am um, we kind of got talking for a while after that and we kind of became friends like we just randomly send each other memes sometimes and when we first met each other in person I was like really really nervous because he was like really cute and I was like oh my god I'm like the most nervous awkward person ever like this is gonna go so badly but we ended up um, hanging out in my best friend's room with my best friend as well because she knew both of us so she was kind of like she was basically wingmanning me through this whole thing like she would make little jokes at me like oh I know you fancy him and like I know you have a crush on him and I'll wingman you but I'd be like oh like shut up you know like whatever kind of thing but then I met him in person and I was like oh my god I do really like him and we literally sat there for five hours talking about memes and I was like okay so this guy is great but I'm really like nervous and I thought he wouldn't feel the same way but in the end we did end up going on a date and uh, one thing led to another and now we're girlfriend and boyfriend but it's just a really funny story that we just started talking because of pelican pictures and it's crazy to think that if he hadn't have messaged my best friend on that specific night at that specific time when we were still awake like I could have easily have not been there and seen that message he sent her and I probably never would have met him which is really crazy now because I couldn't imagine my life without him in it but yeah so I kind of wanted to draw something that was related to that so I thought it would be really cute if there was a pelican and it had its mouth open and we were standing inside of it. I also wanted to show you guys something else 
While I've been in Portugal, I actually went to the zoo the other day, which was super fun. I love going to the zoo, although there weren't any um, giraffes and I was really sad about that because giraffes are my favourite animal. In fact, the only giraffe that they actually had was a giraffe plushie in the gift shop and there's something about me, I don't know what it is, but every single time I see a giraffe plushie, I can't not buy it. I have like a giraffe plushie addiction like I swear I'm gonna go on my strange addiction and I'll just end up with a whole room that's just full of giraffe plushies I'm promising you this is gonna happen because currently I think well the one that I bought from the gift shop and I'll show you a picture of it is probably my eighth one now and it the collection's just growing and growing I can't help it, it I just have I have the urge to buy it giraffe plushies every time I see one. <laughs> but yeah, even though there weren't giraffes, they did however have pelicans and I got a lovely video of some of the pelicans so I'll probably overlay the pelican footage I got as well because I just love pelicans, they're so cool. Like I find the bit underneath their beak so interesting. You know how when they catch the fish they have like there's like the beak part but then there's like the sort of I don't know how to describe it, the like really thin flappy bit. That's kind of like, I don't know, like how thin is it? Is it like paper? I always look at it and it looks so like fragile and I'm like how do they not like tear their, the bottom of their beak on like the rocks? I feel like I must be sounding so stupid right now, like there's probably an explanation for it. But I like, I feel like I think about pelican beaks way too often. But yeah, obviously because it's an illustration, I had to simplify the pelican beak and kind of cartoonize it in a way. And I did kind of struggle to think like, how will I stylistically do this? But I was very happy with how it came out in the end. I'll probably, because I didn't include the sketching process in the video, I might also overlay my sketch. I did in my sketchbook just so you can see what the beginning um, the starting sketch kind of looked like. But yeah, that's basically the whole story behind how I met my boyfriend, why the hell we are standing inside the mouth of a pelican, and yeah. And then for the background, I basically just went onto Pinterest and um, searched for beach pictures and I found this really lovely picture of a sunset on a beach and I thought that would be really cute to do in the background. So I'm really happy with how this came out. You'll see at one point I did actually take a picture that I took from the beach here in Portugal and try and paint over it for the background, but I just didn't like how that was looking. I thought the background would only really look good if I painted it from scratch rather than doing a paint over of a photograph, which I didn't really like the idea of doing anyway because I felt like well, not that it was really cheating, just that it was kind of like a lazy way of painting the background, so that's why I didn't really stick with that any longer. Anyway, I have hopefully another Drawing Your OCs episode coming very soon. I might do another draw this again soon as well, but the only thing is, I can't think of what I want to draw again. <laughs> Um, so if there's any old videos of mine that you've seen that you want me to do a redraw of, please let me know in the comments below and I will go and probably choose one probably quite soon. And if you have any other suggestions for video ideas that you want to see, then let me know. I know that one of my next videos that you will see is creating my OCs in The Sims 4 and then drawing them. And this is an idea I got from Canary Witch's video and Zoe Mariner also did a video on this. So I will link both their videos down below. I definitely recommend watching both those videos and also checking out their channels because um, they are like amazing artists, both of them. And they're also really great art friends of mine. And I hopefully when I'm back in England, which will be on Monday, will be able to do another live stream again soon. I would really love that because it's been way too long since I've live streamed. Anyway, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It has been a little bit different to normal. I don't think I'll be becoming a story time YouTuber anytime soon, but if you did enjoy this and you did enjoy hearing about the story, then please let me know. It was really fun for me to talk about it, and yeah, like I said, it was one of the weirdest things to happen to me, but I'm really happy that I did end up meeting my boyfriend because he is an amazing person and he makes me very happy, and yeah, so I wanted to give something back to him to make up for everything that he does for me. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you again very soon. Bye guys!